Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Beastly Eel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the latest episode of Kite Man. Hell yeah. So in this trailer, I mean in this trailer, in this video, we're going to be talking about what happened in it and where we feel like this is going to go with the rest of the series. Um, so in this, it starts off pretty much, I think it's like maybe the next day after the last episode. So um, Kite Man has been working the bar, obviously, along with Bane and everything else. Golden Glider is not in the picture yet, but it's been stated that she's been... Um, I don't want to phrase this. She's been having a very difficult time with the fact that her mother is not around. So she knows or she assumes her mother is alive, um, but has not been able to find her, locate her, or figure out what happened to her after those events. So um, she comes before she comes down, Kite Man basically states to everyone, like, be careful, don't piss her off. Like she's in a very vulnerable state right now, and she's most likely gonna snap very easily if given the chance so she comes down and she's in what i think are her pajamas and she's got mascara running her she just looks like a mess and everyone freaks out when they see her and she explains how she's been looking everywhere tr you know trying to figure out what happened to her mother and everything else and there was no signs of anything she couldn't find a single sign of her mother existing and Bane, you know, makes the joke about how he lost the love of his life as well, and that you know she, he's not the she's not the only one that knows uh, that is dealing with such great loss. And apparently, during all this, we learn about Villigans. Now, Villigans, as we know from the last episode, had to do with the fact that they are a chain restaurant um, that basically goes around removing local businesses. However, we learn more about them, that they're basically like Amazon, um, in the sense that in their massive um, repertoire in their company, they apparently have um, shipping and receiving, so they pretty much anything you um, ask, to, you know, you look to buy, it goes through them and they ship it out and it's almost immediate. So they then go through it and everything else. They... I forgot what happens next. I forget how they know where her mother is. It's going to bother me. Um, but there's some, there was some way that they find out that the mother is at the pit. And I truly, truly forget how. I think it has to do with Bane talking about if anybody gets lost anywhere or gets in trouble anywhere, they go to the pit. Um, I'm almost positive. Something along those lines. And now it's bothering me that I don't remember. Anyway, minus that. Scratch that. So they realize they have to go to the pit. So Bane doesn't want to go. And neither does the rest of the group. The rest of the group is hands off completely. However, ba uh, Kite Man and Glider were able to convince Bane to join them. So apparently Bane explains that there's only one airline that travels to there. So they go and get on the plane. There's a huge issue on the plane. Bane gets himself in trouble with a child. They get kicked off the flight mid-flight, um, which is hilarious. And Golden Glider and Kite Man fly Bane down to where the pit is. In the pit, apparently it is a owned facility of Villigans. Apparently, Villigans is um, doing all of their shipping and receiving in the pit and making all the prisoners there do their work um, to get it out immediately. So when they get down there, Bane's realizing that none of, all of his friends are brainwashed and unable to do anything. And apparently, there's some sort of gas that's being used to make them do what they want. They then find her mother. They escape after finding out that the head of Villigans really wants to uh, basically run the whole world, it sounds like. And Baby Doll, of course, is there as well. Explaining how their, you know, their profits are going up and everything else because of all the prison work. And that free labor is easy labor. So Bane and... So they basically get attacked by all the inmates because they're being controlled to do so. Bane then uses super strength um, to break out their um, Golden Glider's mother, and the group begins to run away. There's a bunch of traps, all the usual stuff 
that normally stops them from getting in there. Um, they make it out, and now they have to walk, or they so they think, to be able to escape um, the pit. So Kite Man, after buying new gadgets from Villigans, uses them, attaches it to the plane by accident, and the four of them are carted off back to civilization. While they're at the pit, however, Malice is uh, closing the bar early, where she hopes to spend some time with her immortal, uh, her boyfriend, who we find out later is immortal. He's a real jerk. The two of them are, um, he's pretty much awful. And then during that as well, the health inspector comes and causes violations everywhere and threatens to close the place down. Her boyfriend comes, causes a bunch of issues. He then, uh, she explains that he's pretend, she's pretending to be a waitress and a server and that she was doing this all to get his attention. And that's when he begins to start removing heads, killing people, um, and tries to kill the health inspector as well. However, the health inspector apparently can't die either because he's a Gotham health inspector and let's be honest, it's not the first time somebody's tried to kill him. So he basically explains to Malice that the place is going to close. She starts feeling really bad about it. Um, then the old owner of the bar shoots the boyfriend, turns out he's immortal, gets back up, heals, and that's when Malice is like, no, I, I like it here and I work here. And he's like, oh, well, then I guess I don't love you. Bye. And he leaves. And Malice basically realizes that she likes this place more than she thought, fixes the place up enough for them to get a D plus or D minus? D plus or D minus? D minus rating, so they pass, but pass barely. And Malice was able to keep the place going up until then. Um, we also have the Queen of Fables lose her body again, thanks to Malice's ex-boyfriend. And that's when Kite Man and Kite Man, Golden Glider, Bane, and Golden Glider's mother come into the bar. They look and see that the place has got vomited in again, you know, after Malice has done so much to clean it. Um, it goes back to the way it was a little bit, and Kite Man and Golden Glider are like, oh, just the way we left it. They bring the mother upstairs. Later on, she wakes up, realizes that she's not in the pit anymore, and she realizes who's there. It's Golden Glider, who is her little girl. And Golden Glider's like, oh, yes, now we get to be a family again like we always want, like we always should have been. And we'll be together forever. And that's when we hear Golden Glider's mother. She goes, oh, yeah, forever. Great. Um, and that's how the episode ends. So, a couple things. Villigans is going to be the main villain here that I was not expecting. I thought it was going to be Dark Side, But I'm glad to see that they're bringing a franchise-type business villain into this. Um, you know, they're Amazon basically on steroids. Um, doing things that are incredible and also awful at the same time. So we have all that going on. Then we also have Golden Glider's mother, who doesn't want anything to do with her kids, even now. So I'm definitely curious to see what the next episode's going to be, in the sense of, I feel like her mother's going to leave, or explain why she left, and explain that she didn't want to have kids to begin with, or didn't want to have the reminder of what her life was before. And I'm very curious to see how that conversation goes, because that... if if it goes poorly, Golden Glider is going to explode and probably explode her mother for real this time. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, also, is Bane going to try to start dating Golden Glider's mom? That's going to be another factor in all of this as well. And the fact that maybe Kite Man messes it up as well due to the fact that he's just an idiot. Um, so yeah, so I definitely think Villigans is going to be a problem still. We're going to see some aftermath of... Golden Glider's mother kind of um, not wanting to be there or be around her daughter at all. And the fact that Bane's going to try to date her. Overall, I thought this episode was really good. Um, wasn't expecting it. Um, and obviously, so one of the big things too is obviously the pit is normally run by the League of Assassins. However, Villigans bought it. Um, so I just find that very interesting. But that being said... They, um, yeah, we're definitely going to see more of that, and I'm very curious to see where that goes. But um, let me know what you thought about this episode down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not? And why? And as always, if you like the content you see, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. Other than that, this is going to be Beastly Eels signing out. Have a great night.